our dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. Every computer-generated image, no matter how realistic, breaks down into pixels when you get close enough. You might think this doesn't happen in the real world, but you'd be wrong. Space is quantized, time is quantized, energy is quantized. These basic rules of quantum mechanics apply to all tiny subatomic particles. When we look at them, they are just dots. When we look away, they lose their physical form. A different way of looking at that is to say, well, how parallel is this behavior with what I see in my PlayStation 3 when I'm playing a video game? In a PlayStation 3, in front, an example of that is SimCity. It's an enormous city, I can navigate my way through every bit of it because the PlayStation, the video game, gives me the frame that I need when I'm looking at it. If I look somewhere else, it will create that frame. Well, oddly enough, the universe behaves that way in reality. The universe gives you what you're looking at when you're looking at it. When you're not looking at it, it's not necessarily there. Our world is pixelated and only assumes definite form when observed the very same way how computer simulations behave. The Matrix used to run pretty well, but it slowed down over time. Cypher, it talked a lot of movies. This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment, weapons, training simulations, anything we need.
totem. You need a small object, potentially heavy, something you can have on you all the time that no one else like knows. Like a coin? No, it needs to be more unique than that. Like, this is a loaded die. I can't let you touch it, that would defeat the purpose. See, only I know the balance and the weight of this particular loaded die. That way, when you look at your totem, you know beyond a doubt that you're not in someone else's dream. What if the horizon of the sitter space is similar to the horizon of a black hole? And mathematically it is. Mathematically it's almost identical. Then that must mean that everything that's on the inside of the universe must be describable as a hologram or a kind of film on the surface way out there at the horizon of the sitter space. And by the time Juan Malvasena got his hands on it, he was able to prove very, very rigorously that this holographic idea was correct. Quantum mechanics means it's possible everything we see could really be produced by lines of code inside a powerful computer. I've argued that the universe is effectively a quantum computer. In fact, not even effectively, actually is a quantum computer. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice, tumbling down the rabbit hole. Hmm? You can say that. I can see it in your eyes. 